In this video, I show you how to fix no audio device installed on Windows. If you found this guide useful, then please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, then please consider leaving a like and let's get right into this guide. The first thing you need to do if you've got the no audio device installed error on your computer is firstly come down to the start button and go and right click on it and then go and tap on device manager. Alternatively, you can just go and search for device manager as well. Then it will take a moment to load it. I'm gonna go and zoom in on this for you guys. And what we need to do is scroll down until you go and see sound, video, and game controllers, and go and expand this here. Then as you can see, here are all of my different sound outputs and inputs. And what I need to do is go and update the drivers for all of these. And so to update the drivers, all you need to do is click on it once like that, and then go and right click on it, and go and tap on update driver like so. Then what you can do is tap on browse my computer for drivers. Then at the bottom it says let me pick from a list of available drivers, tap there. And then what you can do is go and select the driver. In this case, because it was Nvidia before, I'm gonna go and get Nvidia again. Then tap on next, because I'm gonna go and tap on yes. And then it's going to install the drivers. And then go down and find your next audio device, which in my case is this one here, the Nvidia virtual audio device. So I'm right click on it, press update driver, and then click on browse my computers for drivers. And then let me pick from a list and then go and choose this one here, and then let it install, and then I'll need to do this for the next one as well, which is the Realtek Audio one. Right click on it there, update driver, and I'll browse my computer myself. And then once again, I'm gonna go and get the Realtek driver because it is a Realtek device anyway, so I'm then gonna go and tap on next. As I said before, it's likely you'll have different devices, but the same principles now apply. And as you can see here now, we need to go and restart our computer. So I'm gonna quickly do the last device, and then we'll go and restart our computer. So I'll do that myself now. And there we go, I've now gone and updated the last device. And so now what we need to do is go and restart our computer by tapping on the Windows button, and then you can go to the bottom right and go and tap on restart. So I'm gonna go and restart my computer and then I'll show you what to do next. After restarting your computer, that should go and resolve the problem. If it did, please consider leaving a like. Peace.